Hey everyone, it's Nancy and I want to share a project that I made for you using lots of Carla 001 goodies. Um, this is a challenge that Joe, who is Paper Drama, and myself um, did with each other. And um, she had sent me these um, chipboard cuts a really long time ago. And I think they're Melissa Francis, and I've been holding on to them forever, so this was the perfect thing for us to use since we both had them. So let me show you what I created. This is a hanging sign that I made for Jade. Um, I really, really like the way it came out. It's kind of grungy, but feminine, feminine, I guess, at the same time. Um, I used the chipboard piece as the base, and then I cut another one so that I could um, extend it out a little longer since the tags for her name were long. And then I put another piece on the back. So I actually used three of them to create this. And you can see on the back that I sprayed it with Lindy's. And I used, um, let me see, the Buccaneer Bronze and Smoky Sapphire to spray the back. So I covered this using, it's the Damask paper from Tim Holtz's Vintage Shabby collection in the gray color. And I inked all the edges using Gathered Twigs, which is my new distress, favorite distress ink, and Walnut Stain, which is of course my go my go-to um, these the letters for her name these are metal tags that they have at Michael's in the dollar bins and they're really cool just metal tags with the letters cut out and what I did is I used my Prima Hexnet stamp and just stamped here and there on it and used some um, Tim Holtz distress embossing powder and vintage photo and so it's kind of rough textured. I really like that. And then I sanded it a little bit. So I really like the effect it gave. Um, in the back of the letters, I used the, um, the Carla Burlap Trim. I used all of this color that I have, but it's actually this. And that's what I used to back each of the tags to fill in the letters. Because they just kind of washed out the way they were. So, and I love the way that turned out. I love burlap and the feel of burlap, so that's pretty cool. And I used some of the black teardrop trim down here at the bottom, and then some halfback black pearls. And then these are just some little pearls that I had that match the pearls that's in the center of this Rena Ballerina um, grungy flower that I created a while back. I don't even remember. It's been a while. Um, there's a couple of the Juliana porcelain flowers, the ribbon one um, in, with the tan, and then the regular one. And I used the Walnut Stain Distress Ink to um, grunge those up. There's a couple more under here. And then some of the wheat sprays, and then some black shooting pearl sprays there and then there. And then I put a brad through the little hole down here and then hung this cameo from it. And this is one of the 99 cent store cameos. And for the hanger part, I attempted to match this seam binding that I dyed. Wasn't too successful, but it's close enough. And so that's how you hang it. And I just tied a bow here and I have this hanging and I left this, she can cut this or, you know, just depending on how she hangs it, she can do whatever she wants to with it. So that is my quick little project and I really really love it and I really hope that Jay loves it. So thank you to my buddy Joe for um, issuing the challenge and I hope you all like it. If you have any questions let me know. Check out the carla001.etsy.com store for all of these fabulous goodies.